But now let's look at how to find documents in the document register. In this video we'll cover the search criteria you can apply to find your document, understanding search results. At the top of the document register screen you'll see these search criteria fields. This will help you find the exact documents you're after. These fields correspond to the fields that were filled out when someone uploaded a document to the register. They've tagged the documents with information or details. And these are what we can use to find the document we're looking for now. Today I'm looking for a civil drawing, so I select Drawing and click the search button on the right hand side. And you can see the number of results the search has brought back. That lists a lot of documents, so let's narrow that down even further by selecting the discipline associated with the document. As I'm looking for civil drawings, I select Civil from the Discipline drop down and click the search button. Now the list of results shrinks and I can see all the civil drawings in my organization's document register for this project. Let's start a new search. I'll click the Clear All button to clear all the search criteria fields. This time, I'm going to try a different type of search. I'll start by looking for a drawing under the discipline Architectural and hit the search button. Again, I get a lot of documents in my results, so I need to narrow them down. This time, I'll use one of the multi-select fields, which are signified by the dull arrows in the right-hand side, and can also be referred to as attributes. If I click on the building zone, I can select multiple values here, like South Tower and North Tower. What I'm searching for now are all the architectural drawings tagged with North Tower and or South Tower. I click the right-facing arrows to select these search parameters. I get 40 documents that meet those criteria. That's not too bad, as it's just over a page and a half worth of results. Of course, the more fields you select, the more specific your results will be. And that's it. That's how easy it is to find your documents. Hi, I'm Trev, and today I'm going to show you how to download a document from Aconex. It's really simple. Here's a list of documents I found using a search, and here's the document I want to edit. To download it, I just click this file icon. On your system, the file might download automatically, but my computer's asking me to confirm the download. I just click Save File, and the file downloads. Here it is in my Downloads folder. Ready for me to start work? Easy. Now there's one other downloading tip I want to show you. Let's go back to the search results. See this little arrow next to the file icon? If I click that, I see a menu that lists all the actions I can take with this file. From here, I can open the document on my computer or in Aconex. I can supersede it, see the event log and so on. That can save you more than a few clicks each day. So, now you know how to download a document from Aconex.